So today, I'm gonna show you how to install Luckperms on a Minecraft network. Now, it really doesn't matter what type of server you're running. It can be Velocity, Bungie Cord, Waterfall, or any other fork. But I'm gonna show you how to install Luckperms on your network, so ranks and permissions will sync across all of your servers. Now, I'm fully aware I've made a video about this before, and I've even covered it in my Velocity video. Though that standalone video is kind of outdated, and I feel like it's a great idea to have a good, separate video about how to precisely do this. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. You would help me out so much. So for this tutorial, I will assume you've already set up a whole network. That means a proxy, then backend servers, which are the servers that your players actually play on, and that you've linked everything together so pretty much your whole network is fully functional. The mistake that people make most often is they go to the Luckperms website, they click on download, and over here they see different versions of Luckperms. People look through the list and hey, there's Velocity, and here is Bungie Cord, which also works on Waterfall. Then that is probably the one I need, right? Well, no, <laughs> actually not. So you can install these versions of Luckperms, but they are not meant for syncing your ranks and permissions across the whole network. What they are meant for is managing permissions from plugins installed on your proxy. But we want to manage the permissions and ranks of our backend servers. Now for this, we just need the regular version of Luckperms, the one you install on your paper or spigot server. So we're just gonna click on this one to download it, and then you want to drag it into the plugins folder of all of your backend servers. So the playable Minecraft servers, not the proxy. After doing that, you want to give all of your servers a quick restart and then it is time for the setup. So to get this working, we actually need a database. Most hosting providers have a database included. Now I'm hosting my Minecraft server at Alienhost, who has been a channel partner for a long while now. They offer incredibly powerful Minecraft servers for great prices. If you want to check them out for yourself, there will be a link down below. And when you use code CASASARA at checkout, you can get a whole 20% off your order. So here on the left of our screen, we get a button that is called databases. And when we click on there, we will be able to create a database of our own. Now, if you're hosting a network on your own PC, then I've also made a tutorial on how to set up a MySQL database on your own PC. It will be linked as a card on this video. So I'm going to click on new database over here. That will open this little menu. And over here, I'm just going to give it a name. In my case, it will be called a uh, Luckburms. There we go. Then create database. And there it is. Now, you can see a lot of information here. So we got a username. We got an endpoint. We got this little name code thingy. And then when we click on the I icon, we also have a, a password. What do you need to do with all of this? Well, let me show you. So this, what I'm about to show you now, you want to do on all of your backend servers. I will only be showing it once, but remember that you need to do this for all of your Minecraft servers that you want to sync. So we're going to the server. We're going to go to the FTP files, or sometimes it is just called files. Now over here, you will see a ton of stuff, but we want to go to the plugins folder. And then you want to look for the Luckperms folder. And inside of there, there will be a config.yml. Make sure to open it up. And then the first thing we want to change is here at line 34, the name of the server. Now, if you're running Luckperms on just a single Minecraft server, not in a network, this option can pretty much be ignored. But when you're running a whole network and every single server has a different name, this option becomes extremely important. Why? I will show you in a second. But it's important to fill in the name of your server here. So let's say I would now be configuring my lobby server. I'm just gonna type lobby here. Then we're gonna scroll further down all the way until we see storage methods. Now by default, it is on H2, which basically is local storage. But we wanna change this to MySQL, which is a database. Then you want to scroll a little further down and this is where we have to put in the credentials of our database. So first of all, the address. Where can we find it? Well, the address will always look like this. It's basically an IP address with a port. So I'm simply gonna click here, go back and then Paste it over here. There we go. Now, because 3306 is the default port for my SQL, we could in theory remove it, but I'm just gonna leave it here because it can't do any harm. Then the database. So this is basically your database name. Now, what is the name of our database? Well, that is this, S239 underscore Luckburms. So we wanna copy this and then paste it 
over here. And then last but not least, the username and passwords. So the username can be found where it says a username, simply click and paste it in there. And then the password is the only credential that is hidden, at least here on Alienhost, which you simply want to click on this eye icon. And then over here, you can see the beautiful password. We're simply going to click and paste the password and that's it. There we go. You want to make sure you do this for every single server. Easiest method, just copy this whole section from the storage methods to the passwords and paste it in every single Lookworms config file. Then the only thing you have to do manually is change the server name according to which server you're editing, but you can be done setting all of this up rather quickly. Now, after doing all that for all of your servers, Lookworms is successfully set up on your network. So now when you change someone's rank, it will be changed across your whole network. But you might also have some concerns. In my lobby server, I have very different plugins than in, for example, my survival server. And let's say I'm using Essentials X in both my survival server and my creative server. But in creative, I do want people to access the slash fly command. But in survival, I don't want them to have access to that. How can I manage that if every single permission gets synced. Well, that is why the server name was so important. So what you want to do in game, doesn't matter which server you're in, is just type slash LP editor. Then we're going to press enter. It will generate a link. You want to click on the link and then click on yes. And this will open the online Lookworms web editor. Now, in my opinion, this is this is one of the best parts of Lookworms. This online editor is so simple and so useful. And it's the reason I still recommend Lookworms to everyone. So what you want to do here is let's say I want to add a new permission to my default group and it is going to be a permission that allows people to for example fly so I'm going to type in fly over here there it is essentials.fly now I want my players to only access this command in the creative server and not in my survival server well what you want to do is you want to add some context so instead of adding the permission right away you want to click on context over here so click on the plus icon so where it says key you want to fill in the word server and where it says value you want to fill in the name of the server you want this permission to apply to so in my case that's going to be creative then we're going to click on add context and then add here in the bottom right bam now this permission will apply but only on this server now you can of course add more servers to this list so when we click on here again we can just type server and then for example parkour <laughs> And now players can fly in your parkour server. And then that's gonna be everything for today. Do make sure to subscribe if you've not done so yet. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!